Hi there. In my previous video, I spoke about uh, three important measures of distribution. Uh, numeric distribution, percentage ACV distribution, and percentage PCV distribution. When you look at all three of these measures, these measures help you understand the width of the distribution of your product or brand in a particular market. In today's video, we will be looking at two more measures of distribution. The first one, which is a measure of the depth of distribution, and the second one, which is a comprehensive overall measure of distribution. So let's get started and make sure you keep watching until the end. The world of marketing is vast, complex and rapidly evolving. But with just a bit of help, it can be a lot of fun. On this channel, I simplify real-world marketing for all the curious minds out there. Hi, I'm Rahul and this is the business of marketing. So before I move on with today's video, I wanted to thank everyone who has been supporting me until now uh, with this effort and thank you for sending your comments over to me. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe now. I keep posting a lot of content that will be useful to you. And if you have any thoughts on what else you would like to see or what else you would want me to cover or clarify, please let me know in the comment section below. The first thing that I'll be talking about is this one measure which helps you understand the depth of distribution, which is called the average items carried or average items uh, sold. Your brand usually has a range of items that it sells. Average items carried or sold is a measure to show the average number of items that are being carried or sold for your brands within a particular geography. To put it very simply, it shows how widely your range of products are being distributed as opposed to just a few flagship ones being distributed in a couple of stores. Let me talk with the help of an example so that you really understand this concept properly. So this is an oversimplified example to really make you understand the concept properly. Imagine a situation where there are four different brands, A, B, C and D, and they've got exactly the same width of distribution. So therefore, their percentage ACV distribution is 100, which also means that they are being carried in every single store in that feature. However, their average items carried is different. For the first brand, A, the average items carried is 10, for B it's 25, for C it's 30 and for D it's 50. Now what you see is that while these four brands have the same degree of width of distribution, it is brand D which also has the highest degree of depth, that is the most of the products in its range are being distributed in all the different stores. Likewise, brand A has the lowest degree of depth. That is the least number of products in its range are being distributed. So despite the same percentage ACV distribution or despite being sold in every single outlet, it is brand D which has the maximum overall distribution because it has the highest average items carried, which is 50 in this case. And so you realize that just like the width of distribution is important, it is the depth of distribution which is equally important so that you get to understand a holistic picture about how well your product or brand is being distributed. Now the next question obviously would be that is there a one single measure which can give you a perspective of both the width as well as the depth of distribution. That one measure which is a comprehensive measure for understanding distribution overall. Yes, there is a measure like that and it is called TDP or total distribution points. TDP is the sum of percentage ACV distribution of all items being sold by a brand, a segment or a category in a given market. Put simply, it is the one measure that provides an overall view of the width as well as the depth of a brand in the market. So there are primarily just two elements to TDP. On one side, percentage HCV distribution gives the width, that is how many stores the product is being sold in, weighted by the average commodity value or ACV of each store. And on the other side, average items carried gives the depth of distribution, which is the average of the number of items sold in each store. Let's take a look at a very simple example to try and understand TDP and how it is being calculated. In this example, you will not only see how TDP is calculated, but you will also be able to work out the average items carried for 
that particular brand. Imagine a brand called brand A which has four different items, item 1, 2, 3 and 4. Because these items are not sold in every single outlet, their percentage ACV distribution is very different. For item 1 which is sold the most or sold in the most number of stores, the percentage ACV distribution is 50 while that of item 2 is 40 and item 3 is 45 and item 4 is 35. When you add the percentage ACV distribution of all four of these items which add up to comprise brand A, you get the total distribution points for brand A which works out to 170 in this example. What you also know is the percentage ACV distribution of brand A as a whole is 60%. Now when you know this and you know the TDP for brand A which is 170, you can very easily calculate the average items carried. In this case, when you divide the TDP of brand A which is 170 by the percentage ACV of brand A which is 60%, you will get the average items carried which is 2.83. What this means is that out of the four different items which comprise brand A, the average number of items which are being carried in the market or which are being sold by different retailers is 2.83. So therefore, what this brand needs to focus on is how can it increase the number of items carried by the different retail stores if it wants to increase its distribution depth further. The one important thing that you should always remember in this calculation is to never add the brand's percentage ACV to the percentage ACV of the four different items that the brand is selling or any number of items that the brand is selling. What would happen in that case is that it would lead to double counting and therefore wrong results. So what makes TDP so important? There are primarily two reasons for it. When you are looking for a single measure to provide you with the best represented information about your brand's distribution, you should follow TDP. TDP takes into account not only how widely your brand is being sold across various kinds of stores, but also how many items from your range of products are these stores selling. So that makes it a comprehensive measure for understanding distribution. In my next video, I will be touching upon another important aspect of distribution and how it links up to sales. So if you've been watching these videos, make sure you watch the next video for sure. If you haven't already subscribed, you should subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you are notified when the next video comes out. I really hope you liked uh, today's video and if you did, uh, please hit the like button. And if you have any thoughts or comments or anything else you would want me to clarify, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching Business of Marketing. I'll see you soon in my next video.